Okay guys, so I have my hair up in an updo for the past week. So before I shampoo my hair, I'm going to spritz my hair with some water, section it into two sections, and then I'm going to lightly detangle each section and twist them up. I used to do four sections in my OG natural days, but girl, I don't got lazy over the years, so now I just do two, BT dubs. So the first uh, product I'm going to be using is the anti-shedding shampoo. A couple of things to know about it, it is 8 fluid ounces, it's $11.99. They say it's for all hair types and it claims to contain anti-shedding properties that promote longer, stronger hair. And that is the claim for the whole entire collection. So we'll see about that. <laughs> So the directions for the shampoo say to rinse your hair before applying the product. So that's what I did. The shampoo has like a really creamy, kind of gooey, milky consistency. So I apply it to my scalp mainly and then I work it down. I will say that I like how the shampoo suds. It's definitely a nice lather to it. And it's also a less is more product. Um, you know naturally as natural hair women i did not use a dime size amount <laughs> so yeah um it does have a scent to it it's like a earthy oceany smell quite literally just so you know um it's a light scent but there is a scent to it so this is how i rinse out the product i use my bathtub please don't judge me but this is the best way for me besides hopping into the shower which I did not feel like doing <laughs> so that's just how I rinse out the hair and that is what my hair looks like after I shampooed with the anti-shedding shampoo and like I said it's definitely a less is more product because as you can see I still have some of it in my hair but it's cool because we're gonna wash it out later but yeah it left my hair um, it didn't feel like it stripped my hair dry, so that was good, and my hair was definitely clean after using it. So the next product I'm gonna be using is the conditioner from the collection. A couple of things to know about it, it is also a fluid ounces, $11.99, and it claims to leave mega moisture and hydration along with nourishing, softening, and gently detangling the hair. So the consistency of the conditioner is pretty standard, it's that creamy, thick consistency well not too thick it's like in the middle but yeah so I apply it to my hair liberally naturally and then I'm going to finger detangle each section I will say that I love that both the shampoo and the conditioner come with pumps it is so convenient <laughs> for a hair wash day, especially if you wash your hair in a shower, so I do love that. The conditioner does have great slip, so it was helpful in detangling my hair. And that is what my hair looks like after I washed it out. It was definitely um, a good conditioner, like it left my hair feeling soft, and it was good to detangle with. So next I'm gonna be using the gel hair mask from the collection. Um, it is also 8 ounces, $11.99, and, you know, pretty much standard claims of a deep conditioner. So, it is actually literally a gel. <laughs> like, it has a gel consistency, which I thought was really interesting, and it's pretty lightweight. So, I, it did, the, the directions did say to put it on liberally, which I, of course, I did. <laughs> So I definitely loaded it on to my hair. Um, but yeah, I also noticed that it has a fragrance to it. It definitely has, a, so if you don't like fragrances, just, just know that this, this product has a fragrance to it. Um, I would describe it as a cologne kind of scent, but <clears throat> it smelled good to me. And I left it on my hair for about 20 minutes with the plastic bag. And this is what my hair looked like after um, I had it on my hair. I didn't rinse it out yet, so it's still on my hair. But my hair felt melted, which is what I look for when I use a deep conditioner, like that melted buttery feeling, because that's how I know when it really conditions my hair. So after I rinsed out the deep conditioner, I seal all that moisture in with some coconut oil and then I go in with the leave-in conditioner. The claims for this are not that much different. It's also eight ounces and 
So I take some of that and apply it to my hair. Um, it has a lightweight um, feel to it. So it's not a thick leave-in conditioner. It's definitely a light leave-in conditioner. So it's really nice to help um, seal in the moisture after I wash my hair. And it does dry clear after a while because I was a little worried. <laughs> After that, I'm going to be doing a twist out and I'm going to be using the curl pudding. So it claims to eliminate frizz, has a natural shine to it, and it's great for twist outs, bantu knots, and other hairstyles. But we'll see about that. So as you saw, the consistency was a creamy consistency, kind of on the thicker side, which I don't mind at all. So I'm, listen, my twist outs are not calculator or anything I just make a section twist the hair loopity loop <laughs> the end around my finger and call it a day okay when I tell you I have gotten lazy with my natural hair routine <laughs> as long as my hair isn't falling off my head and it's healthy like hey so I let that sit overnight and this is the next morning I take some oil to my fingers run it through my hair so that you know it helps eliminate frizz as I am taking down the twist so the let's see what is the definition looking like and it definitely left good like great definition which I was really happy about because I had to go to work after this so I was like come on now <laughs> but it definitely left good definition I love that and it also has a fresh scent to it like it smells good but yeah, the definition was definitely there, so I appreciate that. And just look how juicy my hair looks. Like, oh, y'all. <laughs> so that's how my hair looks when I separated everything. I'm going to give you a close-up shot of my texture after using the curl pudding product. So, yeah. I like my twist outs kind of on the messier side, so that's why I separated it quite a bit. So here are my final thoughts about the products, shall we? So with the shampoo, like I said, the lather is very nice, left my hair feeling clean and not stripped dry. I would most definitely buy this product again. It's a very standard <laughs> natural hair shampoo and I don't really have anything bad to say about it. Um, the conditioner has good slip. I love that both the conditioner and shampoo have pumps and it left my hair moisturized and soft and I would buy that again also. The um, gel hair mask smells good. It has gray slip. It is lightweight, but it did hydrate the F out of my hair. <laughs> um, the leave conditioner was, it had pretty good slip. Um, it left my hair pretty moisturized, but I wouldn't say this is a holy grail item for me. Like, I don't know if I would buy that again. And then the curl pudding, pudding did what it had to do, gave great definition and left my hair soft. But the must-have item out of this collection, I will have to say, is the gel hair mask. This is definitely the one to go with. I love it. It was great. And y'all, overall, this collection was very solid. Like, um, I loved every single product except for the leave-in leave conditioner. I thought that was okay. Like, it wasn't bad, but, like, in comparison to the other products, it was I. Right. <laughs> but I definitely recommend this collection, especially the conditioners and especially um, the curl pudding. Those are my favorite out of all of them. The deep conditioner was my favorite and the curl pudding. Like, yeah, girl. Those are a go. But anyways, um, that's all I have for y'all today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.